Simple Puppet Warp Photoshop Tutorial It's always a good idea to duplicate your layer before making any major changes. Select the subject and make a duplicate. Now, select the subject once more, but this time from the background layer. Go to Select. Then Modify, choose Expand, and set it to 50 pixels. Right-click, choose Delete, and fill the selections. Alright, folks, we've just wrapped up using the Delete and Fill technique in Photoshop, and the results are nothing short of impressive. Stick around as I showcase the magic of seamlessly moving our subject without leaving a trace on the background. Head over to the toolbar, click on Edit, and then select Puppet War. Now, create pins by clicking on areas you want to anchor. This keeps those parts in place during the war. Remember, the magic lies in strategically placing those pins. Want to adjust an arm or bend a shape? Simply add pins and move them around. It's like having your own digital puppeteer controls. Time to warp click and drag the control points to reshape your image. Photoshop will work its magic, intelligently warping based on your adjustments. It's a fantastic feature that allows you to manipulate and warp specific parts of an image with incredible precision. Perfect for adding that extra touch of creativity or fine-tuning elements in your design. As we move our digital puppeteer strings with Puppet Warp, I'll showcase not just the movement of elements but also the artistic finesse we can achieve. From subtle tweaks to dramatic changes, the canvas is our playground and the Puppet Warp tool is our brush. Watch how I bend, twist, and reshape elements in real time. Puppet Warp isn't just a tool, it's a bridge between imagination and execution. The controlled chaos of movement results in a harmonious blend that adds that wow factor to our design. Precision is key in this dance of pixels. Every pin, every move is a deliberate stroke in our digital masterpiece. Notice how the subject gracefully shifts, and yet the background remains undisturbed, a testament to the surgical precision of Puppet War. Once you're satisfied with your adjustments, hit enter, and voila. Your image is now transformed with the power of Puppet War. It's that simple. So there you have it, a quick and easy guide to using Puppet Warp in Photoshop. I hope this opens up new possibilities for your designs. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and let me know in the comments what other Photoshop tools you'd like me to cover. Until next time, happy designing!